Hi, hello students. Welcome to SPR Tech. Welcome to the 29th July Important Daily Current Affairs. So, previous 26th, 27th, 28th Current Affairs has been not uploaded by me. For them, you kindly visit the Telegram channel so that I will be providing the complete details of the Current Affairs of the last 3 days. Okay guys, like, share and subscribe to this channel for more current affairs. Within just 2-3 to three minutes, I will be covering all the current affairs that is required and important for your exams preparation. Kindly share with your friends so that only we can build a platform where we can educate more people. World Nature Conservation Day is observed on 28th July every year. World Hepatitis Day is observed on 28th July annually. Asian Development Bank has approved a... 96.3 million dollars loan project for the Himachal Pradesh to improve the sanitation and access to safe drinking water in the Himachal Pradesh. China has successfully launched the second of the three modules of the permanent space station that is to be established by them in a T-shaped and one of the final mission will be completed soon in this year and after the merging with the parent company HGF, HGFC Bank has raised as the top 10 most valuable banks in the world. The market capitalization of the HDFC Bank, HDFC combined is approximately 160 billion USD. And also according to the World Airport Traffic Database 2021, Indira Gandhi International Airport in New Delhi has ranked, ranked among top 20 as the 13th busiest airport in the world. Hartsfield a Jackson Atlanta International Airport has topped in 2021 ranking for, uh, with a 7.6 score passengers in terms of a footfall in the year 2021. India has contributed to $2.5 million to the United Nations Relief Work and Agency, Relief and Work Agency to for the Palestine refugees in the Northeast. UNRW is an independent agency which works on the welfare of the people. Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Qatar has launched an app-based smart e-beat system for police attendance and real-time monitoring of the patrolling personnel in Gurugram. Indramit Gill has been appointed as a chief economist, new chief economist of the World Bank. Ashish Kumar Chauhan has, has assumed a charge as MD and CEO of the National Stock Exchange. India will host ICC Women's ODA World Cup 2025. Rishi Ravikishan Thakkar has been appointed as the additional director of the LIC Housing Finance Limited.